Good evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Justin Stapleton. A couple of light sprinkles we've seen out there at this Mother's Day. Lots of cloud cover. That's kept the temperatures in check, but no major rain threats. That's the good news. This is what it looks like out there now. That little batch that's been moving across Conroe and the Woodlands will be long gone as we get to about uh, 2, 3 o'clock. Watching a uh, new batch starting to develop on the south coast. That one also heads offshore. And as we head towards tomorrow afternoon, once we get some breaks in the clouds, cold front approaching from the west will give us a chance to trigger off some showers and probably a couple of isolated thunderstorms. Now there's a chance. We could see a few of those on the strong side. The majority of that, though, likely will be north of College Station as you get up towards uh, northeast Texas, Dallas, Fort Worth area, for example. However, for the rest of the uh, evening, we'll keep about a 20% chance to cover any of those on the north side. And with those winds out of the south, we'll see the uh, overnight lows stay quite comfortable as well at around 70 degrees. Lots of activity across the middle part of the country. This is going to be a multi day. Severe weather potential breakout. You can see we've got tornado watch boxes out and also severe thunderstorm watch boxes. A lot of these storms all have warnings on them for golf ball size hail or higher. Big area of low pressure swirling across the four corners, moving over the Rockies, and eventually it'll start to shift all of this eastward. But the majority of that, though, watch on this future cast, the wider snapshot takes all of it north of us, north of Dallas, up and towards portions of Arkansas. So I don't think this will have much of an effect on our forecast. With the exception of keeping the moisture in place so that as we get little disturbances over the next couple of days rolling through, they'll keep about a 20% chance for some afternoon trigger off showers and thunderstorms. So we'll go 84 tomorrow, 88 on Tuesday. Another little disturbance kicks through here Wednesday night into Thursday. We'll bump it back up to about 30% and then drying out as we get into the weekend. Now, notice that the temperatures stay on the warm side. We're going to keep highs right around 90 degrees for most of the work week. It would not shock me as we get into next weekend to see a couple of spots hit. That 90 degree mark as well. That's your forecast from right here at clicktohouston.com. Make sure you follow us on Facebook and Twitter. I'll keep you updated throughout the rest of the night tonight for all your travel plans and for your Monday morning commute plans as well. We'll have a Facebook Live video coming up here in just a couple of hours. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your Mother's Day evening.